we were just enjoying the afternoon after uh, you know a feast of breakfast and I got a call from the local sheriff's office saying that they had received a shooting report at our home and that they were on their way. I told them, hey, look, things are cool here. I met them outside, tried to de-escalate the uh, situation because law enforcement doesn't know what they're rolling in on. So mm -hmm. just try to make it abundantly clear that this is a false report. And that's the video that you're seeing as they, you know, literally rolled up heavy on my house. Yeah, any idea, awful. any idea who did this? Congressman? Yeah, I'm sorry, you've uh, frozen. I don't know if uh, still there. Oh, okay, if we have you. Um, so this is also happening at um, Jewish synagogues and Jewish schools, mm -hmm. uh, particularly since the war in Israel started. Uh, and the thought there is that this is a group that is, is pro-Hamas, pro-Palestine that is doing mm -hmm. it. Do you have any idea who did this, who pranked your house? You know, I'm, I'm an outspoken uh, supporter of Israel and in the uh, you know in the rotunda in the Capitol buildings or in the office buildings I stood in counter protest the 300 pro Hamas protesters that had come in the cannon building and I stood over them with an Israeli flag as the lone counter protester I won't be intimidated by these people it's absolutely unacceptable and um, this is this is what they try to do they try to intimidate or disrupt so that they can take control of the situation in our society so that they can get power. And I'm just not going to let them do it. Yeah, and it's shocking. When all this was said and done, a local paper leads with your story but puts in quotes around swatted, including a photo of your home and full property. Has this paper been very friendly to you before this incident? I mean, this is just... It's brazen. Well, it's a hit job. Yeah. Right? It, it's a hit job. It's the local newspaper. We don't even... Uh, Frankly, we don't talk to them anymore because they twist everything so badly. And, you know, to publish a picture of my home as it appears from the road, um, somehow they feel justified in this. I think it's a direct assault on my family. It's an invitation for people to, uh, to continue this intimidation tactic. We've already had protesters put signs in our yard in support of Hamas. Mm. And uh, there you go. And so it's very disconcerting to my family. It's uh, violating to our home. Uh, but these are the tactics of the progressive left. Y you just have to know that this is how they plan on winning, by intimidating, by disrupting our systems, keeping the police tied up with these phony reports yeah. instead of being you know, ready to serve the public. This is, uh, th they are sowing this kind of doubt so that they can take control and they can get power. It's exactly what happened in the 1920s in Germany. It's exactly what's happening here, and we have to stand up. Yeah, mm -hmm. such a good point, point. Um, and I appreciate you making that point. Yeah. This has had deadly consequences yeah. in the past. Uh, a case settled earlier this year. There was an incident, this dates back to 2017, when a 28-year-old was actually shot and killed after a fake 911 call. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, the police, I, think about it like this. You're a member of Congress. I don't know if local police knows that that is your home. I, I, I think they probably do. But that hopefully might, they do. Hopefully they do. They certainly do now. But think about it. Let's say they get one of these fake calls and they know you're a member of Congress. They might respond w more quickly and more intensely because you are a member of Congress, which puts your your wife, everyone at risk, and anyone who's at yeah. your house, your family, your kids, all at risk. Um, and then we we want to show this photo. We just flashed it up, but it's you uh, with the police officers that responded. Mm -hmm. Um, and and uh, thankfully nothing happened, but we're so glad that's not always the, yeah. the result. Well, in this case, um, I do know my local law enforcement uh, team, and they're fantastic. Um, they called. Um, obviously, they're very concerned, but they, you know, they wanted to make sure, and I want to make it easy for them. You have to imagine this through their eyes. The, the police don't want... Um, to roll in with, with bad information. Every situation that they face is, frankly, is a cloud of, uh, you know, it's a fog. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Charlotte, like you were describing New York City this morning. So yeah. you, you really have to be sympathetic to what they are going through. And uh, if you can, be as cooperative and friendly and uh, as you can just to de-escalate mm -hmm. so that they can do their job. That's what we did. In fact, we sent them home with homemade cookies on Aww. Christmas Day and some <laughs> spiced nuts. Uh, just to say thanks. Yeah. So hopefully it just turned it into a happy situation.